Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another Facebook Live today. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little box right here. Um, it measures uh, two and a half by one by three and a fourth. So it's a cute little size box, perfect little gift for a teacher or coworkers or um, just a friend that you want to give a little something to. So uh, we're, um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's see. I'm going to use again this stamp set I've been using the last couple times. It's called We Belong Together. It's super cute for Valentine's Day or anniversaries or any anytime really. So I'm going to use that one. I'll just set it aside for a minute. And let's see where to start. Okay, let me grab the paper. So I use black on this. I thought it went really well with the bees. And you'll want one piece of that measures four and a fourth by seven and a half so that's going to be at the body of your box and then you'll want a piece that is four and a half by three inches and that's going to be your lid and i will put all the measurements and all of the supplies that i used in uh on my blog so my blog is craftwithjulie.blogspot.com and i'll add a link in the comments they'll send you right to the um the measurements and all of that good stuff. Hey ladies, how are you this morning? Thanks for joining me today. We're going to make this cute little box. I'm just getting started. So let's take this, let's move those a little bit out of the way. So you'll want to score it Yeah. So this one measures, again, it is four and a fourth by seven and a half. And you're going to score it, um, let's see, two and a half by three and a half and six. And if you have a bigger scoreboard, you could do it at seven. If you have one like mine, just flip it around and do it again at a half inch. Uh, before I forget, I want to thank Angie Judah for the instructions on this box. It's a super cute pattern to have. Oh wait, I forgot one more. So thank you Angie for the, the instructions. And you'll wanna do one inch just on one side. Okay. Oh, let's do the top while I'm here. I'm a little flustered today. I've had sick kids and, and another kid that doesn't want to go to preschool and he was crying and oh my heavens, it, it's been a mom day. So <laughs> this is a lid um, and it measures four and a half by three inches and we're going to score it one inch on all four sides. Do you guys like to send out Valentines? I know the kids really love it, but as an adult, do you like to send out Valentines or make cute little Valentine gifties? If you do, just type yes in the comments. Okay, so we're gonna set aside the lid. And I hope I get this right. Okay. So here's the, the box again. This little half inch um, square right there we're gonna just gonna cut it right on the score lines and cut it all the way off, okay? And then we're going to angle this one right here. This is the tab that's gonna hold it together. Just angle it right there. And then we're gonna cut right on the score lines up to that one inch line. So Renee likes to send Valentine's, but she, but Renee loves Valentine's Day. We talked about this last time. Okay, so just cut up right to the score lines. And then if you want to, you can angle cut these right here too. You don't have to, but it kind of helps they go together a little bit better. And then this one right here. And right there, okay. And then we're gonna just fold it on our score lines. Try not to shake you guys too much. I tried a different spot in my house to do this live video today. And the sun was out and beautiful and then it went behind the clouds right as I was getting started. So hopefully it works out. 
silly sun. It'll probably come out right as I'm done too. That's kind of what happens. Okay, so then you're gonna take this tab right here, this little half inch tab, and we're gonna stick some glue on it. And I did it on the wrong side. <laughs> Let's see if I can bring that up, or we'll just do it on the wrong side. Let's see. You know what, we're just gonna go. So what you'd want to do, hey Lori, is stick it on this side. Okay, but we're just gonna pretend. So it's gonna be on the outside of my box. Uh, I could start over, but let's let's just keep going. It's been a day, like I've told it, said before. <laughs> okay, and then, so that has your, your little box right there. And then this will be your bottom, okay? So then you'll stick some glue right here, right there on the bottom. And just like that. You can stick your little, what is this called, ladies? A uh, bone folder. <laughs> and stick that in there, kind of mush it down. So that is your box. Okay, so let's do the lid. Again, this piece right here is four and a half by three. And you are gonna just Cut it right up there, right up to the score line. Hey, Erica and Julie, thanks for joining me today. We're just doing the lid of the box. Okay. Fold those on the score lines. Just like that. And I found it was best to trim this a little bit just so the box wasn't as bulky or the t lid wasn't as bulky so right here on those these end ones and little flaps just cut those off they don't even have to be straight or perfect just like that okay you can angle those as well if you'd like to i'm just gonna go ahead and get some glue on them this little duck guy this duck adhesive has been funny. I've never had issues with it before. I wonder if it's just this one. And because I'm live and it wants to be silly, so. Like it has feelings. Okay, so then you're just gonna fold that up and meet, meet it right there, just like that. Okay, I asked the ladies earlier, do you guys like to send Valentine's as adults or do you, is it just a kid holiday? What do you guys think? If you like to send Valentine's as adults, just type in yes. Okay, so there's your lid. And it's kind of a snug fit, so you kind of have to just push it in just a little bit. And there you go, there's your box. So let's decorate it. I use the little Be Mine and the bees on this one. Oh, let's clean up my little spot here for a minute. Okay, so what I did was I grabbed my Artiste Cricut cartridge. It's, this cartridge is um, a retired one. If you have it, grab it and check it out. It's got some really great Valentine's themed items in here. So on page 71, I used this scalloped heart and this Part right here they're the same color because they layer on each other so what when you're cutting if, <laughs> okay this is old school I still use my pad my pin pad thingy to punch in my Cricut um, you'll want to have the real dial size off so when it layer when it cuts they will cut to the right size so they'll layer on top of each other does that make sense so real dial size off cut them both at three inches and they'll fit perfectly on top of each other. So that's my little tippy for today. So this I cut out of cranberry cardstock and then just white. And I'm going to stick it right here on top. I liked it to hang over the lid. So I kind of eyeballed it 
and let's see about three scallops down. It's real technical. Three scallops down, I'm gonna put my glue. Just like that. Okay. And stick it in the middle of the box. Then I'm gonna just take the lid off real fast. Push that down. Okay, on the little heart right here. Going to stamp the bees and the bee mine. I stuck them on my block, just like that, on top of each other, so I only had to stamp it once. And this little um, foam pad comes in your stamp set. It actually has a purpose. You stick it underneath your project, and it gives it enough little bounce to get um, a good, a nice, clean image. So don't throw it away. There is a purpose. Grab the memento ink. I'm using Memento because I'm going to color in my bees with Shinhan markers and Memento is perfect when you're coloring or like with markers or with um, watercolors. So I'm just get ink that up really well and do it right there in the center. And there we go, our cute little bees. All right, so let's color these in. I used um, Carmine, I think that's how you say it, for the heart. Just color inside the lines, there we go. And then I used golden yellow, it's gonna focus, there we go, on the bee bodies. Color their little heads. Um, my daughter saw these little boxes and she wanted to do them for all of her classmates. I told her um, we couldn't do the boxes, but she is going to cut, we're going to cut her out the hearts and she's going to color them in and just attach a piece of candy on it for her Valentine's. She might change her mind, but um, that's kind of what she wants to do. So. Then you could give the box to the teacher and they'd all be matchy-matchy. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. Then I'm going to take some, get on my box back, some 3D foam. I'm just stick that on the back. And I'm out of 3D foam. I need to get me some more. I think 3D foam is like one of my most used tools. <laughs> I, it just adds a little something to your project. Okay, there we go. And then last, we are gonna throw some clear shimmer on there. Be fun, let's see, let's do these little, see if I have, let's do these little whoop-de-loopies. Okay. And let's shimmer up the wings. You could do the whole bee if you wanted to. And then last, let's do the little heart right here. Add some shimmer right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it just adds a little bit. Um, in, inside here, I have put a bit of honey. You can fit in just um, those little fun size candy bars. A box of those sweethearts fit in there. I know you can grab those pretty cheap. And um, those will fit in there. A lot of things will fit in there. What is your favorite Valentine candy? What, do you, what would you be so happy to get inside of this cute little box? Put it in the comments. Okay. Yeah, Erica, it would be really cute for her class, but she's in the French program, and so she has 42 Valentines. So um, I love her, but I'm not going to make 42 of these boxes. I would love to make them for the teachers, though. So there you go, your little box. And I just slipped it. That's why I didn't put glue. I just slipped that little, oh, a pack of gum. That would be a good one. That would be a really good idea. Put some gum in there. You could probably get, like, two packs of those, like, Dentine ice or something. Anything Reese's? Yes, Renee. 
Reese's is fabulous. All right, so those are cute little boxes. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I will put the instruction, well, I'll put the cutting guide and the scoring instructions on my blog, craftwithjulie.blogspot.com. I'll put a link in the comments, so it'll take you right to there. You can also purchase this cute little stamp set. Um, I always forget the name, I should remember. We Belong Together on my website, juliescott.closetomyheart.com, along with the card stock and the inks to make this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for joining me and have a wonderful day. Thanks guys, bye.